Hello there. Welcome to our service of Compline this Wednesday, the 12th of May. Um, sorry, it wasn't there yesterday, as I usually do Tuesdays, but uh, had another meeting on uh, last night. So it's this evening instead. I'm Reverend Carroll with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. Um, so this evening, uh, we're going to celebrate the Feast of St. Matthias. Um, this is transferred from the 14th of May, because there isn't anybody um, for us to celebrate for today, uh, other than a Scottish bishop. Um, so we will celebrate St. Matthias and a little bit of information about him. After the betrayal of Jesus by Judas Iscariot, the apostles brought their number back to 12 by choosing Matthias to replace him. He was chosen by Lot from amongst the disciples. The author of the Acts of the Apostles sees apostleship differently from Paul's interpretation of the role and seems to reflect the understanding of the Gospel of Luke. The number had to be restored so that they might sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. It was conditional that they had to have been with Jesus during his earthly ministry and witnesses to the resurrection. The point of being chosen by lot rather than by some democratic method indicated the election or choosing by God rather than by mortals. So that's how St. Matthias got chosen to replace Judas Iscariot as uh, one of Jesus' disciples. Now then, let us just take a moment of quiet as we allow God into our hearts and I attempt to share my screen. There we go. So, as usual, uh, words that you see in bold are for us all to join in with. Uh, if you want to, of course, you don't need to. You can just sit and listen and enjoy. But if you want to join in, it's the words in bold. So... The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And we take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week. Bring all those concerns on our hearts to God. So we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, Make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now we listen to a rendition of the evening hymn before the ending of the day by Scola Magdalena. Thank you. 
our psalm this evening is Psalm 104, verses 1 and then 21 to 33. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both great and small. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it, you open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his work. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The scripture reading this evening is from Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light and they will reign forever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia. Alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. And now we listen to um, an arrangement of the Nunc Dimittis by Shepherd, sung by Christchurch Cathedral Choir, Oxford.
Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Gracious God, fountain of all wisdom, we pray for all Christian people, for our archbishops, Justin and Stephen, <clears throat> all our bishops, including David and Anne in Birmingham, and for all those who teach and guard the faith. May the word of Christ dwell richly in our hearts and knit us together in the bond of your love. We pray for the leaders of the nations and for those in authority under them. Give them all the gift of your wisdom and a right discernment in all things. We pray for our group of parishes and each of our communities. For those who live or work in Kingsway and Laburnum Close in Kingsbury. Hurley Lane in Hurley, Pinewood Avenue in Woodend, and Hurley Lane in Marivale with Bentley. We pray for those who visit our places of worship and the surrounding areas. Speak your word of peace in our midst and help us to serve one another as Christ has served us. We pray for those who do not believe, and yet who long to know you, the very word of life. Open their ears to hear your voice, and open their hearts to the knowledge of your love in Christ. <clears throat> we pray for those bowed down with grief, fear, or sickness, especially those who have asked for our prayers at this time. May your living word bring comfort and healing to all those in need. And we give thanks for all those who have died in the faith of Christ, including Raymond Wilkins, Mari Bridgewater, Doreen Makepeace, Robert Piper, Joan Stiles and Bridget Kirkland. And we rejoice with all your saints trusting in the promise of your word fulfilled. Lord of the church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. The collect for today. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God. By triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we, who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, praise him in the eternal city of which he is the light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. 
Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. And that concludes our service of Compline for this Wednesday evening. Next week, we will be back to Tuesdays. Um, so I hope to see you next Tuesday. In the meantime, I hope you have a quiet, peaceful and safe night. Take care. God bless.